Hello, my friends, hello. I hope you're doing well today. I honestly couldn't think of a song to sing today, so the singing chef will be songless. That's rather strange, isn't it? Hmm. Anyway, today we are going to make pumpkin soup. Now, I know some of you don't like pumpkin, especially a particularly good friend of mine and brother in Christ who lives in Beverwick, uh, Netherlands who tells me he does not like pumpkin. Well, the good news is with this soup, I mean, it changes the soup completely, but with this pumpkin soup, instead of pumpkins, you can use yams or sweet potatoes, pureed. Uh, of course, it's not pumpkin soup then, it's yam soup or sweet potato soup. But today we are making pumpkin soup. So the first thing you're going to want, and I'm missing a key part here, is one tablespoon of olive oil. Now, if you don't have olive oil, you can substitute, uh, you know, some type of vegetable oil. Some people use coconut oil, but as uh, those of you who are regular fans of my show know, I am allergic to coconut, so we don't do coconut here. There we go. So one tablespoon of olive oil. Then you're going to add one medium diced onion. All of it. And two carrots diced. There we go. Then we are going to add a tablespoon of minced garlic. One tablespoon of minced garlic. You can, you can uh, do your own if you want or you can buy it already minced in the store. If you don't have fresh garlic, um, you can use garlic powder and I would say it'd probably take about a tablespoon of that as well. Alrighty. And then we are going to add three cups of chicken stock. Now again, if you don't have chicken stock, you can use, you could use beef stock or vegetable stock. It's gonna change up the flavor of your soup, but it still will be soup. Let's grab a spoon here, we'll give this a stir. Oh, it smells good already, and we haven't even started cooking it yet. All right, to that mix, we are going to add one large can of pumpkin. Now this is 796 mil, which is about 29 ounces. So you want about 29 ounces, 28 to 29 ounces of pumpkin puree, or if you're making yam or sweet potato, then sweet potato or, pump, or uh, yam puree. But like I say, we're making pumpkin soup, so can't do that without the pumpkin. Now, if you prefer your own, if, you, if you've pureed your jack-o'-lanterns from Halloween, then you can certainly use your, your own pureed pumpkin. I didn't have any pumpkins this year, so I'm using E.D. Smith's pumpkin. Now, make sure you get the pureed pumpkin and not the pumpkin pie filling. Um, I'm sure it would probably make soup, but how it would taste with pumpkin pie spice Ices in it, I'm not sure. I get all that good pumpkin out of there since you paid for it, right? Or put all the hard work into making it, whichever the case may be for you. Yeah, the only song I could think of with the pumpkin in it was the old country western song, which is Hello, Country Pumpkin. How's the frost out on the pumpkin? I've been through life and man, you're something. See you later, country. I don't remember who sang that song now. But it was, a, it was a good song, actually. If you haven't heard it, you should look it up. It's called Country Pumpkin. And it's a, it was sung by a male country western singer, is about all I can tell you. But who it was, I don't remember. Now you want to stir that pureed pumpkin in there really well so you don't have uh, just a big clump of pumpkin in the middle. 
get it stirred in well. There we go. And now we're going to start adding our seasonings. And the first seasoning we are going to add, oh, I take that back. Before we add the seasonings, we are going to add three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. Three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. Almost forgot that. That wouldn't have been good, would it? You like making pumpkin soup without the pumpkin. All right, we'll stir that in. So it's three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. Oh yes, it's looking good. All right, now we'll start adding, adding. We're going to be adding our seasonings. There we go, it's a new word for you, adding, right? And the first seasoning we are going to add is one tablespoon of ground cumin. I'm just going to sprinkle that across the top, equally distributed, and then stir it in. This is my Tuesday video, but I'm actually making this ahead because you can do this. You can cook this for four hours on high, but it tastes much better if you cook it on low for eight hours. So even though I'm making this, this is uh, I'm making this ahead for Tuesday supper because um, we won't be eating it till tomorrow, and uh, because I want it to really cook well. And get all those good flavors in there. Our next ingredient is two teaspoons of cardamom. Yep, two teaspoons of cardamom. And we want to mix that in really well too. So you've got cumin and cardamom. I like to stir these in after I put each one in, just to make sure they get nice and blended. I guess you could dump all the seasonings in on the top and mix them all in at once. But uh, this way you make sure they get nicely distributed. Next you want, uh, I've lost my place, a half teaspoon of cinnamon. It's a half teaspoon of cinnamon. I know it sounds a bit strange in a in a savory dish, you usually think of cinnamon in things like uh, apple strudel and apple crisp and apple pie and pumpkin pie and, and that, but in this case, it's going to be in the pumpkin soup. So you want to get that nicely blended in. Now, if you really want to speed things up with the soup, you can before you put them in the crock pot, you can take your carrots and your onions and saute them and get them cooked so they're pre-cooked before you put them in. I like, I like them to cook in the soup, so that's why I'm doing it this way. All right, getting all those good seasonings blended in there. All right, then after your cinnamon, you want a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. Quarter teaspoon, no less, no more, of ground cloves. And a quarter teaspoon of paprika. And then you want to salt and pepper to taste. Now I'm using a half teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of pepper. Uh, people can always add more salt and pepper when they're eating it. So you don't want to over salt and pepper when you're making it. Because once it's in there, you can't take it out. Now we want to mix those in really well. And 
that's the main thing. You want to get this stuff mixed in really, really well so it's all nicely blended together. There we go. Now, an optional thing you can add, and I'm going to add it. As soon as I find it hiding here, is a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Now, that's optional. You don't have to put that in. But I like it, so I'm putting it in. But I'll leave that up to you if you want to add, add it or not. So put these two away while the drawer is open. And there we have it, folks. That's the recipe. It's kind of sloshed up onto the edge there a little bit. Let's get that all down into the mix. And now I'm going to put this in the crock pot base over here on the counter. Put on the lid and set it on low. And we're going to let it cook on low for eight hours. So once it's done, we'll have a look at it. I'll uh, give you a, a peep at what it looks like. I'll plate it up and you can have a, have a see bit. I hope you enjoyed the recipe today. Again, it's uh, pumpkin soup, very nice and seasonal. And if you don't like pumpkin, then you can make it with uh, sweet potato puree instead. Very different flavor, of course, but uh, just as good nonetheless. So, hope you've enjoyed today's recipe. I'll put photographs at the end so you can see the finished product. And until Friday, when we have our normal story time shout outs and groomer of the week, take care, stay safe. God bless. She said, hello, country bumpkin. How's the frost out on the pumpkin? I've seen some sights, but man, you're something.